Hey, what's going on guys? So long time no see. I know it's been a while, but I've just been super focused on a new course that I just created called 70 plus JavaScript challenges with data structures and algorithms. And it's available on my website and on Udemy for just 15 bucks with the promo code in the description. Now it's a bit different than what I usually do, which is very practical project based courses. And the reason I put this together is to work more on the, the fundamental logic and problem solving part of programming. And yes, it is a JavaScript course, but most of what we work on can be done in any language. And this course will prepare you for job interviews as I've included a lot of the common challenges that, uh, that you know, the large companies ask you to solve. And even though the videos are formatted as challenges, you don't really have to attempt them on your own. I, t I do go through, type everything out, explain it, and you can just follow along and learn. So everything that we do in the course is inside of a sandbox, which is basically just a giant set of files um, that I called Traversy JS Challenges. It is available on GitHub, so even if you don't buy the course, you can still get all the, the content, all the challenges. There's documentation, there's commented solutions, just tests for every challenge, and so on. Now we start off with some of the, the basic challenges like the, the fizz buzz level, lots of iteration, looping, working with arrays, working with strings and moving characters around. Then we move to challenges that use high order array methods like filter, map, reduce. And then we move to everyone's favorite computer science topic, recursion. And recursion is something that a lot of people struggle with, but we take it slow, we look at some fairly simple examples, and again, I try to explain every line and, and what's happening. And we also talk about time and space complexity. These are really important topics when it comes to writing efficient code. We get into big O notation. I give you some examples to show you how the runtime of a function increases as the input increases. Now, we, we get into data structures like stacks, queues, linked lists, we, we talk a lot about trees and graphs. We learn depth first traversals, breadth first traversals, and we implement all of these data structures in a JavaScript class. But again, you can, you, you can do this in any language. Um, finally, we talk about sorting algorithms such as bubble sort, which seems to be really, really common in the, the tech interview uh, questions and challenges. And we talk about more efficient algorithms like merge, merge sort and quick sort. And I know for some of you, this might sound like, uh, like super advanced, but the only prerequisite for this course is that you understand the basics like functions, loops, arrays, et cetera. Um, you know, if you took my modern JavaScript course, uh, my modern JavaScript from the beginning course, then you're golden, you, you know plenty to, to take this course. And we started at a very simplistic level and obviously it gets a little more difficult as we progress. Um, but that's it, you know, as, that's it as far as the course goes. Now, I did want to just check in with you guys because I have been kind of absent from the channel for the last couple months. And there's a few reasons for that. One, obviously I've been dedicated to this course. So it's really, it's really all I've been focused on in terms of content. Uh, I've also been spending more time with my family. We just got back from a little vacation in New Hampshire. I've also been focused on my health. You know, I've been running twice a day. I fast every day. I've lost about 40 pounds over the last six months and I'm turning 42 this weekend. So I'm getting older and I, I've really realized what's important. You know, for a lot of years, I, I put work at the top of my priority list and I'm not going to say that I regret it or I do anything different because uh, I did, you know, become successful and, and able to take care of my family. But I, I can only do that for so long. My family deserves me to be there. And I also can't neglect my health, especially now as I'm getting older. It's, it's crazy to think that I'm 42. I feel like I'm like 27 in my head. Um, but as far as the channel goes, I'm still going to be making content. TraversyMedia.com is really my main focus. I'm going to start doing more courses that are a bit shorter so that I can, I can put more out rather than just one every like three or four months. I also plan on doing some free courses for my platform and, and for YouTube. But uh, I'm not going anywhere, still going to do the crash courses, all that stuff. I'm just, I'm just redirecting my priorities a bit. But I love you guys. Thanks for sticking around, uh, especially those of you that have watched my content for years. I, I really appreciate you guys. 
and I'm gonna break the dry spell soon and hope I hope to get a video out next week or so and again if you're interested in becoming a better programmer at a fundamental level check out the course it's only $15 with the code in the description but that's it guys thanks so much and I will see you soon